page 74, March. The top of the page, they're introducing you to the triads of a scale. We went back to C major because it uses the white keys, it's the easiest one to see. In a scale, like a C major scale, each note is numbered. Starting with one. We don't start with zero in music, it's one. Starting on C, on the name of the scale, whatever it is, C. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth one is one again. So it's one through seven is what it is. They're called steps, like a step four would be one, two, three, four. It's the fourth step of the scale, so fourth note up. Well, you build triads, a three note chord, on each step. So there's one, and you can number these, label them, number them, usually with Roman numerals, according to the step number. So this is a one chord. Remember one chords? Two, three, four. Remember four chord is primary chord. Five is primary chord. Six, seven. That's what they're doing. That's what these next couple of pieces are about. I'd like to talk not so much about that as I'd like to talk the technique of playing them. They're showing you staccato. We're going to use a nice wrist staccato. It's fortissimo. You can almost get away with an arm staccato, and I'll come back to that shortly. Let's just use wrist staccato at first. You put your hand in the position, one, three, five. All these triads are fingered, one, three, five. So it's here. Move it up one. Get the next one. Next one. And you keep moving around. What I do, and what I recommend you try, is I'm going to aim one finger. Could be any of the fingers, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the thumb, and I'm simply going to aim the thumb. Whatever the notes are for the thumb. I'm going to put my hand in that position. I'm going to leave it there, and the other fingers should go along and do what they're supposed to do. shouldn't be a problem. With practice, you can get it. And if you use the wrist staccato, you don't have to worry about getting tight or tense because this motion prevents that from happening. Just keep your hand in that position. You don't be tense about it, you just keep it there. Whatever it is, and it should work out for you okay. Go slow at first. Just bounce off the keys. Like so. Wouldn't hurt to do it in both hands. If you're going to do something in one hand, do it in the other. Because both hands need to learn to do it. Now, if there were a melody here, I don't know if there's a melody, it would be the top note probably. And if that's the case, I like to focus on the melody. Well, if I'm doing that, I'm going to focus on the little finger. And then I'm just going to let the other, other fingers go along. do that too. This is good practice. This is good technique practice. The right hand, or the left hand, excuse me, just has these. If you're going to use a wrist staccato on this, it's easier to go ahead and use a wrist staccato here. This is. And that's that. Now this starts out in the right hand fortissimo, which is very loud. So, well, depending on your physical build and what you, you might need to use a arm staccato, but you have to be careful with arm staccato because it can get out of hand real quick. So if you need the arm to give you the extra power for the extra volume, that's what you do. But be careful not to bang. And each time you do that, let the wrist collapse a little bit. Each time you come down, let the wrist collapse a little bit. Don't leave the wrist stiff because if you do, you'll tense up. And if you tense up, that you're lost. Don't. Just don't. Now, even if you use arm staccato in this hand, though, just use wrist if you can in this hand. If you can work them both out, I recommend wrist staccato here. That, that just seems to work the best. So, let's try this out slowly, just to check the notes and all that, and see how it's going. Now, the last line, they have a dim, molto, dash, 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 pianissimo. So, they're saying diminuendo, which just gets softer. Multiple's a whole bunch, and then the dash, 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 dash is telling you throughout all here, doing it, doing it through this space. So you're going to go from a very loud to a very soft. You've got four measures to do that. You have to plan it out. So the last line, second measure, 
uh, you start that out very loud, then maybe the next note might just be a little under very loud. The next measure, you're only going to be loud or so. And then in the next measure, you're going to be like a medium soft or a medium loud, somewhere in between. And then the next note, you're going to be soft. And the last note, the whole note, you're going to be very soft. So you have to plan it out. And the left hand can help you because it can, it's got this. So you can do this. Last line, second measure, you're starting out very loud. Come down to loud. In the next measure, maybe a medium loud. Keep coming down to a medium soft. Soft, very soft. So plan it out and experiment. The electronics I'm using mess up the volume. It wants to even everything out too much. So I have to exaggerate just to get a little bit going. And it doesn't work very well. Believe me, it sounds better in person. Really, it does. So take, at the beginning, they have a MF or mezzo forte or medium loud. This is a left hand. Sort of loud. Then when the right hand comes in, it's very loud. Keep the left hand at a medium loud throughout because the left hand needs to be softer anyway. Because you don't want them to be the same at. No. Keep the left hand down. Let's try this out slowly. I'll give us four counts. Let's see what we do. Alright. Left hand starts here. Right hand here. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest, two, three, four, off. 